Hi, my name is Lori Taylor Davis, Global Pro Lead Artist at Smashbox Cosmetics. And today we're gonna have fun with the eyes. So I wanna walk you through a super easy smoky eye application. It's basically a way to make a statement with those eyes and really, really easy steps. One of the really important things about creating a smoky eye is the, air, the entire area around the eye has to be perfected. So your brows are gonna act as your framework for any type of eyeshadow that you apply. So I'm gonna be using our Brow Tech Matte Pencil. It's a double-ended matte pencil, and it has this precision, per precision tip. I don't know if you guys can see that. And what this allows you to do is to really kind of just trace in any hairs that you weren't born with. On the other end is actually our spoolie. And what the spoolie is gonna do is it's gonna really help you to keep those brows brushed up and you want your brows to look as natural as possible because remember you're doing a statement smoky eye so all the drama's on the eyes now the first step in our eyeshadow application is we're going to prime the eyes and we're going to be using our 24 hour shadow primer you're going to use a tiny bit probably about the size of a pea that's actually enough for both eyes and you're going to apply it with your fingers it goes on very smooth and very silky and then dries down to a matte. And what this is gonna do, it's gonna make sure that your eyeshadows won't crease. It's gonna make sure that your eyeshadows wear true. Now next step in our smoky eyeshadow application is we're gonna be using one of our Always Sharp eyeliners. And I love the Always Sharp liner for one simple reason. The tip of it is Always Sharp. And I'm gonna use this as our base shade. This is the first shade that I'm gonna use on my eyes. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna basically drag the pencil across my eye. You don't have to be neat with it. I'm gonna be using our all over eyeshadow brush. And I'm just gonna smudge it in. And what that does is it just creates that kind of solid base and it gets me to smoky so quicker. I'm gonna use a little bit of, that, my, little bit of it at my lower lash line as well and then I'm gonna smudge it, same brush. And don't be afraid to really drag that shadow down. We're gonna do a little bit of shadow above it, but yeah, just really kind of get shadow and definition all the way around the eye. I like to start in sheer layers because you can always increase the amount of product you put on. And always start at the lash line. This shadow intensifier brush really helps to blend everything and really get everything smudged. And the Always Sharp Penny Lane pencil is such a great color because it's a soft brown. It's not too chocolatey, has all that nice warm fleck in it. And it really just kind of creates that, de that definition around the eyes, but softly. Because remember, we're going to add shadow on top of that. I'm going to be starting off with a little bit of Java first. And I'm going to start at the lash line. I'm using our Shadow Contour Brush. And I'm not really swiping. I'm actually just kind of packing the color on and gradually building it up to my natural crease. And then I'm gonna work a little bit more color right into that natural crease. Don't be afraid to come up just a little bit. And again, like I said, if you feel like it's not going on dark enough, just add color gradually. You don't wanna go too dark initially because you really wanna be able to blend and create that super soft kind of smoky, diffused wash of color. Now next I'm gonna apply same colors at my lower lash line. I'm gonna be using our soft shadow brush right at the lower lash line. I love the shape of this because it's a little bit more pointy so you can get right in at your lower lash line and it's almost like you're gonna be painting your lower lashes. Just right at that lower lash line. And don't be afraid to come down a little bit more Again, smoky is all about soft, diffused color, and it's a technique. So there's no harsh lines. Everything is just really well blended. Now, if you're really daring and really want to create a little bit more intensity, you can take your Penny Lane eyeliner and go right on the inner rim. This is not a necessary step. I like to really have a more solid lower lash line. So there we have it. We have the base for our smoky eye, just soft, diffused, Super smoky color, so easy to achieve. Now this is where we're gonna go back and we're gonna do a little bit of cleanup before I apply mascara. 
So the thing about a smoky eye, sometimes these shadows can kind of travel a little bit down, especially if you're really trying to get that intensity. So I always like to do my concealer after I get my eye perfected. So I'm gonna take our Studio Skin 24 Hour Concealer. Thing I love about this concealer is it's not cakey, it's perfect for the under eye, and it really, really, really helps to clean up anything that's underneath the eyes, and it really does help to fight against discoloration. The color that I'm gonna be using is medium cool peach. Now I chose medium cool peach for my complexion because I want it to just brighten a little bit as well. I'm going to be applying that with our blurring concealer brush. You don't need very much of this concealer. I'm just gonna do a few little dots just right in the corner, boop, right there, three dots. And I like to do a technique called up lighting. So I really like to concentrate on the inner corner of the eye I kind of drag it down by my nose and then take it out towards my temple. And that really is just gonna bring brightness to my face. It's gonna clean up any type of discoloration underneath the eyes. And it really is one of those kind of fantastic kind of ways to apply concealer for a really natural application. I'll start off first by blending it in and then just taking it out. You can even get your fingers in there and do a little bit of patting, but get it really close around the nose area. And what you're gonna instantly see is all this brightness now, mascara is so important because I really feel like, you know, an eyeshadow look isn't complete unless you have that mascara. Mascara is almost like that icing on the cake. I'm going to be using our Super Fan Mascara, and I love this mascara simply because two things. I love the shape of the wand. It's got that football shape, so it's almost like it hugs the natural curves of the eyes. And I love it because it's a fanned out mascara, this molded applicator really helps you to grab every single eyelash I like to get right into that inner 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 corner and right at that lash line that ultimate lash line i mean look at that it is such a beautiful mascara now mascara goes top and bottom so we're going to do a little bit i think the angle tip really makes it easy so if you want to grab those little hairs at the bottom and a smoky eye really loves for you to concentrate mascara top and bottom because you've got color down there. So you really wanna have a little bit of mascara to kind of show off all the smokiness. So I hope you love this statement eye application. I paired it with a little bit more color on my cheeks and a little bit, color, little bit of color on the lips. And we thank you so much for loving all Smashbox. And it's time to smize with your eyes. <laughs>